Hello, I'm John with CodeVA, and this is a quick tutorial on starting a story with Twine using the chapbook format. Uh, this is a great, you know, very first look at using Twine to make interactive narratives. So uh, let's jump right into it. So I've got the website uh, twinery.org pulled up here. Uh, that's T-W-I-N-E-R-Y.org. Uh, and this is kind of like your entry point. You can download the Twine tool here by clicking this button. I'm going to go ahead and just use it in my browser for now. Uh, so I'll click that. And now we have our kind of like story selector screen. Uh, this is kind of like the, the home page for Twine. Uh, we got to do one quick thing before uh, I can kind of move on and uh, start making a story. I have to set the Twine format. Um, now, the, the reason for this is, is so that when you view other tutorials that um, CodeVA makes, uh, we kind of want to be using the same like language and settings. And that's kind of what a, a story format is. It's like language and settings for your, for your, for your experience making interactive narratives with Twine. So I'm going to click, uh, go to this Twine tab and click story formats. And what you need to do is click chapbook and then uh, click use as default format. That way, uh, you know, like the two of us, we can kind of use the same uh, settings and things and uh, my tutorials will be useful to you. Uh, yours will probably be Harlow uh, by default. So in order to change that, you click chapbook and click use as default format. Then uh, we can uh, start a story. To do that, I'm gonna click the plus new button. I'll then click create, uh, and then we'll have a place for us to start writing code and doing all sorts of stuff. Uh, there are other tutorials about actually getting in there and starting to write. So, uh, so I'm just gonna leave that here. Um, that's how you make a story. If you go back, you can kind of view that story here. Uh, if you select it, you can do all this stuff. You can go back in and re keep editing. You can rename it uh, something else, or uh, you can copy it, or you can delete it. Uh, you can, if you want to make another one, you can do that. Uh, and now we have two stories. So uh, that's how you start a story in Twine. If you have any questions or uh, you get stuck on any of this, please definitely reach out. Uh, we would love to help. Otherwise, good luck and happy coding.